So, uh, how, how do you think you did today? Oh, I think I did really good, you know, managing it. Um, you know, it was very, you know, um, a good day for the offense. You know, I um, feel like, you know, we did, you know, what was asked of us. You know, we wanted to come out, play fast, have that tempo that you know, we've been preaching all spring, you know, and then, you know, just managing the, the game, you know, taking what's there. You know, that was the biggest thing, you know, that I wanted to come out here and do and try not to force anything. Coach said that, uh, Coach Elliott was saying that uh, there's a couple things he did really well today. All, all of y'all, there's a couple things you need to work on. Uh, anything in particular you can remember that you thought, ah, I wish I could do that better again? Um, just just being a little bit more poised in the pocket. Um, just um, being ready to make plays, play with my feet. You know, just when things may collapse and break down. So that's one thing. I go back and look, go back and look at the film, see what I could have did a little bit more better at. So are you pretty pleased with um, how the tempo is going right now with the offense? Oh, uh, definitely. I feel like you know we're right on track. You know, still working to be better, but you know, just seeing the quality depth that we have, you know, at all positions. You know, it's really been good, you know, pleasing to see, you know, throughout um, these th these few weeks in spring ball. Have you seen improvement in Travis's uh, pass, pass protection and, and is he kind of taking ownership of that um, and improving that part of his game? Uh, definitely. Um, you know, last you know, last fall, you know, he was still learning. You know, now he's still learning, but now you can see he's more confident when he's out there in the pass protection. You know, he's making the calls, you know, just hearing him, you know, when he's right to my side, you know, pouring out the guys he has, you know, that's been really to see how much growth that he's made. You know, over the course of time. How um, for you? You know, you got these other guys behind you pushing you. For you, how how do you just take that? And is it is it fun to have no? You got these guys challenging you, and it makes you get better, I guess. Oh, uh, definitely. You know, everybody want to talk about you know everything else you know that's coming in, but you know me, you know I just just go back to work. You know, I just let everybody do the talking. You know, everybody want to write me off, but you know I'm still here and I ain't going nowhere. How important do you think it is for those younger guys, just you know the freshmen, just to get in this environment, even though there are no fans? As opposed to you know being on the practice field. Oh, uh, definitely. Uh, it's very important. You know, it's, I mean, it's still the same, but you know, once we come in here, you know, in the stadium, you know, it's, it's we treat it like game day, and so being in an environment, we have a little bit more people out here, you know, watching. You know, it was really good to see because you know there was no drop off. You know, all four of us, you know, went in, you know, pushed the tempo, drove the offense. So that was good to see. You know, everybody was coming in doing their job. Any specific goals you have before the spring game that you want to be able to share there? Um. Just, you know, managing, the biggest thing for me, just, uh, I just look back over the season, just taking my check downs. You know, that's something I've been just emphasizing, you know, just just take the cannon when it's right there, just try not to force anything and, um, you know, just try not to be too greedy. Because um, sometimes, you know, you have those guys out there, you know, on the perimeter, you know, you want to, you know, give them a chance. But also, you know, sometimes you have to know when to take a shot and also when to just dump it down to your back and let him do the rest. So that's the biggest thing that I've just been trying to, you know, manage you know, within my game. Kelly, uh, talking to Taj Boyd last week, he said that until this offense and you lose faith in yourself, it's still your job. Uh, what other advice has he given you, and what can you take away from a guy that's been in this position before? Uh, just, you know, seeing him, you know, coming around, you know, seeing the type of player, you know, growing up, you know, coming, going through the recruiting process, the type of player he was, you know, the mentor that he's been, you know, all the guys that have been in the quarterback room, you know, to today. You know, just like you said, just, you know, keep that faith. You know, I know what I can do. This offense know what we can do. So whenever we lose that faith, there's some questions will pop up. You know, we start looking left and right and just trying to find solutions. So, you know, we know what we can do. Just continue to work and, you know, and just to push. Coach Elliott was telling us that Cornell made some nice uh, catches today. Um, you think this next season could be a, a real step forward for him? Oh, definitely. Uh, it was good to see, you know, 17. You know, Cornell go out there making plays you know, all, over, all across the field. You know, he, um, you know, made a double move, you know, getting the end zone there, you know, it was good. You know, he made some very good competitive plays. You know, that's those 50-50 balls that, you know, we just throw it up, you know, you know those, having that trust in those guys, you know, coming out and making a play. And that's what he did today. How different is uh, life for you since this time last year when you were learning and having to go through and you had all the pressure, people were wondering if you could do it? How different has things changed since since then? I mean, I don't think anything's changed for me. You know, it's still questions. Uh, so, you know, I'm still going back to work. You know, just still trying to, you know, keep my confidence in myself, you know, just continue to work, you know, never getting complacent, you know, and just try, trying to find ways to be better, you know, with what I was in last year. All the doubters out there, how much does that motivate you when you do hear those things that you mentioned earlier? Oh, man, I love it. Tell them to keep on questioning me. Do you feel like you and the other quarterbacks kind of challenge each other and learn from each other? Like with the run game, I know um, there's been a lot of talk about Trevor Lawrence's run game. Like, how does that really motivate each other? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, people just want to look at it, you know, as a competition. Of course, we're competing, but to be honest, you know, 
we've actually been growing, you know, off the field. You know, those great group of guys, group of guys that, you know, me being a senior, the old head, you know, just having to take them on my wing and just, you know, show them the ropes and also, you know, compete, you know, within myself, also with those guys around me. But, yeah, was, we, um, you know, compete, but at the same time, we also help each other, you know, whenever we're on to the sideline or whatever. You were, you were live in the orange and white game last year. Uh, Coach Sweeney kind of hinted the other day that you, you wouldn't repeat that again uh, with you all this year. Is that a, kind of a double-edged sword for you? Because I, I know you, you, you just as soon not get hit by those big defensive linemen, but at the same time, uh, that prevents you from making some big plays, too. Uh, definitely, but, you know, it's just like practice. Uh, the same situation, but, you know, we still you know we can make plays with our legs. You know, maybe it may be a little bit more conceived and you know, can't make the plays. Um, that you might want to make, you know, because of the short whistle. So, you know, we're just going to go do what it do and just try to make plays you know, when they're there.